What's up? My name is Lena. I'm Alina. And you're watching That Grape Juice. Hey guys. Hi. How are you? Good. Good. Lovely to see you. Good you to see guys you. look amazing. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah. How did this incredible creative union of yours come about? She oh. chased me down. Yeah. Okay. No. <laughs> I did actually. Um, Lena wrote an episode of Master of None called Thanksgiving, which is based on her own coming out story uh, to her family. And she wanted me to direct it. And so she called me up and, you know, was like, I wrote this autobiographical piece. I need you to do it. And mm -hmm. I was like, send me the script. If I love it, I'm in. And I read it and it was everything. It was historical, it was important, and it was funny as hell. Um, and we went in, and, and that was the beginning of us, and we had this amazing, collaborative, trustful mm -hmm. uh, partnership on set that was undeniable. And yeah, while we were doing that, she was writing Queen and Slim, Slim, and we did our first feature together. Yeah. Nina, what's the inspiration about making the script, and why did you want it to see it come to, to life? Uh, well, I think it's just really the times we're living in, yeah. you know, and I, you know, every time you hear about a black person being killed by a police officer and that sort of rippling through the news, social media, it's traumatizing. Mm -hmm. um, and I wanted to make a statement about it and really, you know, really show what the times we're living in and not ignore it and not shy away from it, but remind people, you know, that this movie is a time capsule as well mm -hmm. as a beautiful piece of cinema, um, that there was a time in our nation's history where black people were being killed by cops at an alarming rate and nobody did anything about it. Uh, and hopefully that maybe 10, 20 years from now, that will stop. Mm -hmm. But people can look back at this movie and remember that it happened, so that way it never mm -hmm. happens again. Mm -hmm. No female directors nominated at the Oscars this year. Yeah, mm -hmm. well, that's usually the what situation. What are your thoughts on that? It's not I new. think it's a, it's a result of systematic racism, um, <coughs> of, patri of the part patriarchy, yeah. absolutely. <laughs> Um, you know, until there's a change and a dismantling of these power structures and the people that are in power, um, there won't be any change, you know? It's just they value certain stories because they relate to them and it reflects their interests. And until we are inside um, and have, you know, beat that down and, and made our own way forward, there will be no change. And that's our fight. That's what we're doing every day by making films like this, you know? giving our stories volume, putting value on, on other kinds of stories that mm -hmm. matter. Um, and honestly, the true reward is the impact it has on, on the community, mm -hmm. you know, and the changes bringing in that way, and the other creators of color and women who are able to tell their stories. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Melina, we, Melina, we've been following your story. We've been Thank following you. everything. Um, <laughs> what's it like working with Beyonce? <laughs> uh, is there any, any future collaborations that may be coming yeah, up? Yeah, it's incredible. Um, you know, that's another sister of mine for life. Uh, mm -hmm. She is phenomenal. She's inspiring. She has the hardest work ethic. I've ever found in, in another artist and creator. She challenges me to be my best self. Mm -hmm. um, and we've, we've grown together, mm -hmm. you know? And, and it's really been a great introduction to also working with other very strong women, mm -hmm. such as Lena herself. If there was one feeling that you wanted people to take away from this movie, what would that be? Well, I don't really like to tell people what to take away from the movie. <laughs> you know, you take away from it what you bring to it. Mm -hmm. But I hope people really appreciate the artistry. You know what I'm saying? I think in the craft, that we put into it. If anything, if they have to look at the film, I want them, and also, I just want to feel different, you know, mm -hmm. and, and I think we, we succeeded in that. I can't, I don't see, there's not other movies like this one, and I think we're we're different, and and we stand out, and I, for that, I'm deeply grateful for it. I think mm -hmm. that's a large part to Melina and the way she brought the movie to life, and okay. how she filmed it, and uh, how she, you know, really put the, the music together. I think that's why it really feels special and urgent and different and mm -hmm. revolutionary. Yeah, I think my last question would have to be this. The casting for this had to be really important. Mm -hmm. This was like with both your babies oh, as yeah. well. Mm -hmm. um, talk about the process as well, because I did hear that obviously you had a meeting with Daniel and then mm -hmm. obviously you had to tell Daniel to pause and then you had to <laughs> speak to Melina. Mm -hmm. What mm -hmm. was that? And then obviously giving Jody her first, you know, mm -hmm. film as right. well. What was that process like? Well, I mean, I was excited. I I, I feel bad because I d would not have thought of Daniel for a Slim. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't. I, but I was. I wasn't thinking of anyone. But I I don't really have actors in mind. But when he said it to me, I couldn't shake it. And so that's why I was like, Well, Melina should sit with him, um, and and we'll both talk about it. And she went and sat with him and had a long meeting and just offered him the part because he just <laughs> gets it. But he's also look. He's a phenomenal actor, but he's also a phenomenal human being. Mm -hmm. And I think that's also what drew us to him. Maybe what drew him to the role. And with Queen, we, we honestly thought, like, oh, this is going to take forever. And then our phenomenal casting director, Carmen Cuba, uh, I mean, Jody was in the first batch of, of girls that we saw. Yeah, we wanted to use the opportunity to break a new actress 
uh, a new mm-hmm. black actress because we don't get that opportunity often. A new brown skin black actress. Exactly. Yeah, and we found Jodi, and, and she was royalty upon first glance. Mm-hmm.